Hey guys, Rocket Lee here once again. What's up, everybody? Um, today I just saw an awesome movie, probably one of the best movies of the year in terms of Oscar nominations, and hopefully, hopefully, finally, Leonardo DiCaprio will finally get uh, his Academy Award-winning award for Best Actor. Because to me, in my opinion, he's earned it and then some in this movie. What movie I'm talking about, you may ask? That is The Revelant. Oh, God. Um, so, I'm not trying to spoil too much in this review. I'm really just going to tell you basically what the trailer just gave away. And tell you based on that. Well, the trailer gets away a lot of the movie, but I, I, I will, um, I'll, I'll tell you the, the basic premise of the movie. Basically, it takes place, I guess, between the 18, 1700, the olden times where Indians and, and Americans were still back and forth. So, they're back in those times. And it, um, they were like, um, they're like, they're like coat handlers. They kill, they, they, they kill animals, skin them coats, skin, you know, skin their, you know, their fur and sell them for coats, you know, for fur and coats to wear and stuff. Um, it looked like, yeah, it looked like um, Leonardo DiCaprio fell in love with uh, an Indian woman that's having a child, but um, that's having a child. So then, um, but then uh, one day something, you know, but then uh, something happened. They got. Um, but then, um, then something happened, and uh, pre something happened to where uh, they get attacked and they have to leave the, the you know the most of the coats behind, and um, uh, Leo gets attacked by a uh, by a bear, which um, which, which was kind of given away considering the fact that there was this one news article thought that oh Leo gets raped by a bear. That was not ra I mean maybe raped as in he got his ass kicked that kind of rape, but not actually. Put his put the wiener inside the butt, none like that, not that kind of rape. Actually, like rapage as like an ass kick kind of rape. Then yeah, but not literally rape. But uh, that's another story for another time. Um, uh, Monday Man, I think, or uh, Phil DeFranco covered that. It was it was ridiculous. Um, so anyway, um, he gets attacked by the bear. It was a bruise, which, by the way, that scene with the bear. Oh my fucking god, that was the most edge of my seat, oh my god, what is going to happen, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't felt such on the edge of my seat, probably since the slight super battles in, um, in Force Awakens, but, um, but it was on the edge of my seat, it was, like, really intense, and, oh my god, and so then he, uh, he managed to survive, thankfully, but, um, he got injured, and then, um, Tom Hardy's character, uh, killed his son, um, because I guess, you know, they want to, like, they wanna, just want to leave leave Leo behind, Leo on the camera's character behind me, because they're you know, holding him back from getting to civilization. So he uh, tries to kill him. The son just stops him from killing him. He, then he stabs his, son to, stabs his son to death. Then he tries to bury, and, and try to bury Leo on the character and just leave him for dead. And, I mean, he, and he goes through a long, long, long journey just to go and get revenge on this guy for what he's done. And that's what it basically is. It's like a, a, a revenge uh, type of movie, but it's a long journey to get there, to say the least, because, oh my God, it was intense. Um, it was an intense movie. It's on the edge of your seat. The acting was fantastic. And um, kudos to the cinematography guy. If you want to get the, the wide shots, it was gorgeous. It was beautiful, wide-open mountain shots. Of the mountains, the animals, the trees. The, in fact, also the clothing department, the clothing they you know, they were wearing. You really felt that they were like back in those olden times. It wasn't like you know. It wasn't like ah, oh, you know, it, it's sucking me out. No, they did a really, I'm talking really good job in terms of the costumes. It made you feel like you're watching um, an old old time back in the day type of movie. And it's it's a sort of revenge because. When you see his character, he's just a greedy, selfish, thinks nothing but himself asshole. And that's what he is. <clears throat> Excuse me, that's like the worst, he's like the, the most worst villain, or portrayal of a villain he's played since probably Bane from The Dark Knight. And maybe even worse. Um, if that's for you to decide. Once you see the movie. So yeah, it's just a long revenge quest. Will he get revenge? That won't spoil, but it's worth seeing. The movie, it is phenomenal to say the least. Like I said, the um, and those are great action, action, as you see, action moments. You know, the scene with the bears is amazing. There's some great shootouts. Um, just great um, cinematography. 
great acting, great just atmosphere. And this the things this guy had Leonardo DiCaprio's kind of had to do to survive is insane. But you have to understand those are back in the the back of those days, and that's how people survive and live. Because oh god, is this this? And also, if you're squeamish, don't see this movie. It's 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 not for the faint of heart, and especially some animals. <laughs> I'd say this. I'd say this much. Peter Peter's not gonna like this movie like at all. I mean, yeah, there's CGI. I know, I know back in the day, animals really got killed just to, 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 for the sake of film. But now animal rights, thank God, came in and stopped it to now where, you know, animals aren't going to get hurt anymore. But, um, of course, it's obviously now CGI nowadays with the animals. But still, it's like, it's still bad for some that animals get brutally killed in this. Whether it's from people or animals themselves. It's just, if you're an animal lover... <laughs> Don't watch this movie, or if you're screaming, shoot, because it's very gory, and uh, and it's not, and it does not apologize. So this movie is gory. It's just, it's dark, gritty in your face. This movie has no apologies. It, the movie is like saying, "This is how it was back in the day, and this is how you what, in which it is what you had to do to survive." It was like in your face, really, um, really in your face. Um, so yeah, it's a great movie. Is this? I I I I can't recommend it enough. It's a great film, to say the least. Um, and, and, and on the edge of my seat, it's a fantastic Leonardo DiCaprio film. Um, same thing, same goes for Tom Hardy's um, villainous character. Great job. Um, I've got this other kid. He was also in the, the um, and we're the Millers, the young kid, and also the the he was like one of the leaders in the the, the, the Maze Runner trials. Yeah, he's in the movie too. He did pretty good. But the, to me, the main stars. Also, Leonardo DiCaprio's Indian Son did a pretty decent job, too. But in my opinion, the main stars of those movies was Leo and Tom Hardy. They stole the show. I mean, they, they had good chemistry together. And when they finally had, when they finally get that, when you, when, you, when you see them lock up together, it's a, it's it's amazing feat. It's 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 just the what what he, the, the, the stuff he does. Leonardo DiCaprio is smart, and he's he, he's such he was like the stuff he went through to survive to to, to find this guy was. Amazing! This guy is one tough dude, and the stuff it would kill any other ordinary man. But since revenge was fueling him, he was like almost like a. It felt like he was almost like a Terminator. So considering what he went through to get to where he was at, to get to, to get where he's at, was jaw droppingly insane. But overall, is it worth seeing? Hell yes! That is a good start for um a good start for twenty six for twenty sixteen man. That's one kick ass movie. And I'm really, really hoping for Leo that he gets an Oscar nominate on the Academy Award because he deserves it. He acted his ass off in this movie. Kudos to this man. I kind of, I kind of hate people. Oh, he's so overrated. Blah blah blah. No, he's a great actor, guys. He's a little, he did a lot of great movies from, from you know, from Blood Diamond to Shutter Island. I don't care what people said that movie. That movie's amazing. I don't care what people say. Um, you know, Titanic, uh, Gangs of New York. Excellent. He's, he's an excellent actor. And I think it's about time he gets his just dues. And in my opinion, this is the movie to do it. So overall, go see it. It's it's definitely worth your hard-earned money. It's a great film. It's it's it, it's a lot of slow mo. It's not action packed like I make it out to be. It's a lot of slow moments. But I like the slow moments. It kind of eases you in and, and sucks you into the uh, the the world of what, what where they're in. It sucks you into the world of how they of where they're at and how they're trying to survive in this world. And it's like really intense. And it's a great film overall. Go see it. It's worth your hard on money. The Revelant is one it's one epic movie you cannot afford to miss. Alright guys. Rocket is Rocket Blade signing out. Hope to see you hope to see you guys again real soon.